If you are using XOS, chances are there are several long Nix commands that you are running quite frequently. And while it is not a problem that you cannot fix with a bunch of simple shell aliases, I still want to show you a ready solution that will not only save you some time, but also make your outputs more informative and your workflow overall more stylish. So without further ado, introducing NH, because yet another Nix helper was too long to type. With NH, rebuilding your configuration can be done with a simple NHOS switch command, followed by a path to your flake directory. But, of course, typing this path every time will also get tedious over time, which is why it can also be defined with a flake environment variable, which can be done in your configuration.nix file like this, meaning you don't even need to install any modules. But note, that session variables are only applied when you restart your session, so after making these changes, you can do exactly that, or simply restart your entire machine. Just like the regular NixOS rebuild command, if you don't specify the host in the command, NH will try to use machine's host name to search for the correct configuration in your flake. So if you haven't already, make sure that the networking.host name of your machine matches its key in your NixOS configurations in the flake. In this example, we can get rid of the dash "-h flag", because NH will already know exactly where to look for your configuration. So the rebuild command is now shorter, but of course, the benefits don't end here. Because NH also integrates a bunch of tools that we are going to talk about in a minute, to first present you this beautiful output monitor, showing packages and their dependencies being built in real time, and then to div the current and newly built configuration, letting you know which packages were added, removed or upgraded, making updating your system much less painful. Here are the commands that you will probably use the most, which from first to last will rebuild your system and activate the configuration, rebuild the system but only activate the configuration after a reboot, and finally, rebuild the configuration but only activate it once without adding a boot entry so you can test some changes. All of these work exactly as you would expect them to, and they also come with some useful flags, like dash dash dry to only print the actions without performing them, dash dash update to also update the flake before rebuilding, dash dash ask to ask for confirmation after the rebuilding process is finished so your services don't suddenly restart and scare you, and a dash s flag to select a specialization. I don't think we have ever talked about specializations on this channel before, so to give you a brief idea of what they do, here is a small example configuration.nix file containing two specializations defining two slightly different variants of your configuration. Any options defined inside these specializations will override the options from your base configuration, but also inherit everything not explicitly defined inside, meaning that here we have a configuration.nix that installs a production version of NVIDIA drivers and two variants of the system that install beta or stable drivers instead. After every rebuild, you will now get three new entries in your bootloader instead of one, giving you quick access to three slightly different variants of your system. Now returning to the topic of the video, NH is capable of detecting the current running specialization to select the correct activation script. However, because NixOS does not store the specialization names anywhere by default, we want to actually put them into slash specialization file like this, making sure that the text matches the name of the spec. This simple step will make working with specializations quite a bit more pleasant. Other notable features of NH include the ability to rebuild your standalone home manager configuration with an NH home switch command, which works similarly to the OS rebuild command and takes pretty much the same flags. NH search command that lets you search for Nix packages just like on the search.nixos.org website, and my favorite, nhclean command that lets you clean unwanted generations and packages. Combined with a dash dash dry flag that we talked about previously, it will also let you know which generations will get garbage collected, making sure that you never accidentally remove the generation that you still rely on. Now finally, remember how in the beginning of the video I told you that NH integrates a bunch of tools to produce those colorful outputs? Well, these tools are called Nix Output Monitor and NVD. And the reason I'm telling you about them is because we can also use them separately to further improve our Nix experience. The first one of them, Nix Output Monitor, acts as a drop-in replacement for the Nix binary, meaning you can use it to run your regular Nix build, Nix shell or Nix develop commands, except it will give you this beautiful colorful output, 
I honestly miss the funny Pac-Man animation I had on Arch, and now on NixOS, we can also finally have something nice to stare at while you are building some packages or upgrading your system. The second program is called NVD, and in NH, it is responsible for showing you the difference between two NixOS versions after you rebuild your system. By installing it separately, we can div any two Nix store path, letting us know which packages were added, removed or upgraded. With this bash expansion syntax, we can easily div any two system generations, like 70 and 71 in this example, which is pretty useful. And now, I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically... Hoskins, p Easy, Aiding Bad Pander, Not A Nut, Uni, Xavier, Albert C, P3M, Tibalt Mole, Shen, Z, Workflow, Zach Beer, Attila, Z, Urban Zen, Glitched Code, Uncle Simon, Shigenori Suzuki, Akiva, Torvald, Mo Creek, Stefan Flea, and Anonymous Donations. I would also like to thank people who supported the channel previously, and as usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.